Hi, welcome to the Best Buddies. You know, for years, in fact, over 16 years, I had a daily radio program called I Love You Because. It was just a very practical talk about your daily struggles. And, and Monday through Friday at 12.15, every day, I would do a, a, this radio program. And I did it live most of the time. Sometimes I recorded it, but usually I did it live in my home or wherever I was. I can remember being uh, in the stores shopping and I would just stop and say, can I use your phone? I'll give you a free commercial. And so as you can imagine, that we have lots of memories that revolve around the radio program at my house. I remember one day I was driving and doing my show. Um, is that legal? I hope that was legal. But anyway, I was driving doing my show live and I got stopped by a policeman. So right there in the middle of the show, I'm like pulled over and I'm going, well, uh, I'm talking to one of my new friends, a nice young policeman. We love policemen. And uh, why don't, uh, let's just finish talking tomorrow. Bye-bye. And so I'll never forget that. And um, I, of course there was a time, oh, well, I don't know what happened, but it was 12.15 and I hadn't turned off our alarm system at the house and I was doing the show. And my father-in-law walked through the door and the system, beep, 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 it goes off and I'm just talking away and I said, 27993. And then went on talking, finished my show. And as soon as I hung up, the phone rang and the voice at the other end said, I'm on my way to your house. You just gave your security code to the whole city. So crazy things happen when you do live radio, right? The thing that I learned over those years of doing the radio show day after day was that there were times that I didn't feel like encouraging anybody. I was maybe aggravated, maybe I was uh, going through a challenge of my own, but I had to do the radio program. So I was faithful. I'd pick up that phone. I'd, I would encourage. Sometimes I'd just take a scripture or a story. But I learned that no matter how I felt at the beginning of the radio program, by the end of it, encouraging people, I had encouraged myself. And it taught me that we really can uh, encourage ourselves. And when we do, we can have a joy and that can become a lifestyle. And I, I, I want to choose happy. I think sometimes people look at uh, certain people. I think sometimes people look at me and think, that's just your personality. You're just a happy person. I, I can tell you, I have to fight for my joy as much as anybody does, but it's worth the fight. And here's the deal, there are certain things that, that will destroy your joy. And um, I remember one day doing the radio program and I was recording them there in my home and just having a great time. I took a break, went into the kitchen, there was Denny. And so he said something, I said something, he said something, I said something. And by the end of that conversation, I was offended. So I went back to finish my radio programs, and when I sat down in front of the, the microphone, I, uh, my joy was gone. My energy was gone. Uh, I, I just I couldn't do them. And the Bible describes it this way. Great peace have they that love thy law, and nothing, nothing, wow, nothing shall offend them. And uh, when we're offended, when we're mad, when we're upset, it, it ruins everything. It might be Christmas, it might be your birthday, it might be the kid's graduation, it might be the best day of the year. But it doesn't matter what's going on on the outside if you're offended on the inside. You know, kids can pick up on that. Kids kids know when, when you're not happy, when you're offended. And they're watching to see, well, how, how's mom gonna respond to this? And I wanted to encourage you. Uh, maybe you're not good at this. Uh, I, I don't think any of us are really good. I have to regroup all the time in this area. I'm great at being offended like most people. But I, I want to be addicted to happiness. And if you have a difficult time um, keeping your joy because you're offended, maybe today can be your new beginning. And maybe today you could say, mm -mm, I'm not going to live like that. I promise you this, if you will choose happy, choose to stay focused on the good things, that uh, you'll find that you're gonna have great peace in your home. 
things are going to turn around. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear what some of the struggles that you face, uh, and, and maybe we can talk about them later. I hope you have a great day. Bye bye. Great peace. Great peace. Have day. Have day. That love. That love. Fight long. You got it. Great peace. Great peace. Have day. Have day. That love. That love. Fight long. And nothing, nothing, nothing shall offend that.